Oh well, that was a pretty successful couple of days away. Took on a couple of big POIs. Let's uh, start sorting all my stuff out, all my loot. Hang on a minute. What's going on here? Where's all my Where's all my ammo? I haven't put it in the wrong place, have I? No. I mean, what the hell's going on? Most everything else seems to be there. But well, I had I had stacks and stacks of AP ammo and shotgun shells. What the hell? I've got a horde coming up in 24 hours. What the hell am I going to do? Oh, let me see. I had a whole bunch of other stuff. I had more shotgun shells. Unbelievable. I've been burgled the day before a horde. All of my hard work has gone completely tits up. You know what? I haven't seen another living soul in 48 days in this poxy apocalypse. And then two days after Steve the Bald shows up, suddenly all my guns and ammo go missing. Hmm, I'm not having it. Right, let me see what else might be left. It seems like it's just taking the guns and ammo. I mean, I'm not pointing fingers just yet. Oh, hang on. There's one, one workbench he's forgotten to rob. Okay, we have 500 7.62 AP ammo. Plus, what else have I got on me? 540 regular 7.62 shotgun shells. I mean, I don't know if this is going to be enough to get through the horde. Okay, he's left me my food and medical food. Well, he did say he was going off to Red Mesa. I'm going to have to go and see if I can track this bastard down. Like I said, not pointing fingers just yet, but, you know, Occam's Razor and all that. Well, where are we? Day 48, 22.50 on the clock. We have a horde base that is pretty well set up to manage numbers, but, I mean, if I'm not mowing them down, who knows? Who knows how well this is going to stand up? Oh, look, I've got some repairs to make there. One of the ladders is down. Have I not repaired this place from the last horde? Let's have a look. Given that we've got very little ammo, I think I'm going to have to... What have I got here? I've got a couple of SMG turrets. I've got some blade trap bundles. I think I've got a shotgun bundle, a shotgun turret bundle on the bike, which we picked up on our travels the last couple of days. But I think I'd rather just use my shotgun ammo and shoot it where I, where I want it to go. We're going to have to start installing some traps on the base just to do all we can to thin the herd. Yeah, and just do all we can to get through a horde night using as little ammo as possible because we have very little. Okay, I'm just going to do some basic repairs to the base and then get it back up to kind of a decent starting point and then we can think about where we can start putting these blade traps and the SMG turret because he was kind enough, I'm not saying it was Steve the Bold, but whoever it was, was kind enough to not take absolutely everything. Okay, we have a decent amount of medical, that's good. Shotgun turret bundle, I don't want to use that, but it has given us a couple of extra shotgun shells. Okay, we're quite good on the shotgun shells, right? Let me read these. Uh, I'll need some gas to power the traps. Okay, I've got enough. Let's craft that. Let's go over, fix the base up. I'm thinking it might not be such a bad idea to add some new ladders just in case any of these ones go down because for some reason they are getting a little bit hurt. Now, how much steel have I got? 157. Now, one thing I am pretty sure I'm gonna to need to do, probably the most important thing of all right now, is upgrade some more of these to steel so they can handle the mid-air demolisher bucket explosions. All right, now, let's go add some more ladders around the side. Maybe we can have one going straight up the side here. That would, that would work. Because the worst thing that could happen, short of the tightrope just being destroyed, would be the ways for the zombies to get up to the top here to be, to be destroyed. Because as soon as that happens, they're just going to start going straight for the pillars of the base and try and bring this thing down. Okay, so that is pretty much everything repaired. Now let's think about where we can put some of these traps. I've got 20 blade traps. What the hell am I going to do with them? Um, <laughs> Oh, I think the first one I'm going to add is going to be just on the end here. So if I just stick that. Is that what I wanted to do? 
I think so. That should swipe anyone trying to come here anyway. Right, where else can we put them? Oh, I love the smell of headshots in the morning. one there. Yeah, that's nice. So that would get anyone coming up this side. Oh no, that's... Can I pick it up? Oh bugger, that's placed now. I, was, I should have done it one over. I was trying to make it so that it would headshot anyone who was trying to go up the ladder. Okay, I've got an idea. Should we do some on the underside here? You know, just in case anyone falls off or starts to come sideways. I think that can work. And maybe... Can we get one on the underside of here as well? Okay, so what I'm thinking, just here, they won't necessarily be able to stand on it, right? But if they fall off this way, the blade will just give them a little tickle on the way down. So we can go here to there. All right, let's get... I'm thinking to get these auto turrets, maybe just on top here, facing that way, because then at least if they hit a demolisher... There's every chance it's going to hit him in the back rather than in the front. One there. Let's go for the classic pincer. We'll go one there. So let's give him some bullets. Oh my god. They're not a very good shot. One, two, three. Lock. But yeah, let's point them this way. And this one kind of this way. Now let's see, are all the blade traps spinning? I think they are. <laughs> this is going to be such a mess. All right, well, it is what it is. Let's turn this off and this off. Do you know what? Let me craft a box to uh, leave some supplies in over at the base so that I don't forget anything. So storage chest, let's have one of those. Try and tuck it away in a corner to make it reasonably safe. Uh, I'm thinking I might just carry this with me for the day, just <laughs> just in case anything silly happens. Okay. Well, let's have a look what I've got on the bike. Do I want to do a uh, a trader run? See what she's got. I think it's probably worth it. Oh look, we've got some extra medical here as well. Loads of good stuff. Um, yeah, I'll bung this away. Uh, I might just go pick up some stuff to sell and then uh, yeah, and then head over, see what Jen's got, see if she's got anything useful for for the horde tonight. So bear with me. Uh, you know what? Forget it. We haven't actually got that much to sell. I'm just going to go with whatever money I've got. There's nothing she's going to have that's more expensive than what I can afford. So let's quickly nip over to see Jen. Uh, she's got an eye candy. That'll be good for loot afterwards. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? What can I get you? A forged steel. Oh my god. On principle, I'm not going to buy that. Uh, I will buy this AP ammo, though. Five grand for a hundred. Oh my god. We literally lost thousands and thousands of AP ammo. It's painful buying it back at that price. But what choice do we have? Uh, duct tape. I'll always buy duct tape. Auto shotgun. 29,000? Oh no, hang on. I can make an auto shotgun. I can make the top level one now, can't I? Oh, maybe that's what we do for the rest of the day. Okay, I'm not gonna buy that. Anything else? One spotlight. I might buy that spotlight just for uh, aesthetic purposes on Horde Night so we can actually see what the hell's going on. Uh, I think that's all we want. Well, you can just I make a spotlight? I'm glad I could help you. Yes, okay. Might need a bit of iron, but all right, I'm gonna make a bunch of spotlights and get that all set up and looking schmick. Alright, let's get back, sort that all out, and I'll see, primarily, if I can get my uh, my auto shotgun made, but I did notice if I'm going to make spotlights, I need iron, so let's grab some iron. Okay, that's enough. Alright, before I forget, shotgun, what do I need? Shotgun parts, oh my god, I can't make it, I haven't got that much steel. And yeah, you can fuck off, mate. Oh... Never mind. Can I make that much steel? I need more wood. 
Oh, look at that. It's, it's clay that I need. I thought I needed more iron. All right, let's get that going in there. I still don't think it's enough to make a shotgun. Anyway, let's see. All right, let's do some spotlights in the meantime. So, I mean, if we're pointing, I don't know, like this, we can pretty much see the whole lot, right? Oh, hello. <laughs> right, let's go this way. this a bit of direction down this way. I don't think there's much more I can do before the horde comes, so I'm just going to chill out. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe have a spaghetti bolognese and a cup of coffee and wait for the horde. And then, once we get through this, I need to go and find out who the hell burgled me, because that shit is not on. <laughs> working so far. Got to get mashed up over there. The only downside is those blade traps aren't going to last very long. And bloody hell I can't hear myself think <laughs> with that racket going on from the turrets. Okay, melee's going all right so far. I don't know how many of the... Oh, fucking hell, he flew a mile. I don't know how many of these rads we're actually going to kill because they'll regenerate by the time they come back up, but we just need to keep them away from us. That's the objective number one. Oh, what is that? Fucking bird. How did you get in here? Probably through that massive gap. Okay, we're doing alright. This is quite manageable. Just realised I've not drunk any coffee or anything to increase my stamina, so maybe I need to do that if I'm going to continue with the melee for much longer. Well, there, we're doing pretty well. Look at this, I'm not even dipping below 200 in stamina. Alright, are we going to melee only this fucking day 49 horde? Is that even possible? I just had a thought. Does the Rad Remover mod work on a melee weapon? I don't think I've ever tried doing that before. If I get a break in the zombies, I might try switching it over. Do you know what? Fuck it. Let's give it a quick go now. So, mod, take that off. Ah, panicking. Modify. It does go on there. I never knew that. Okay, so, maybe we can kill some of these rads. I'll tell you what, I'm sure those turrets are going to work, but I'll be glad when they run out of bullets. So I don't know how much longer I can listen to them. <laughs> don't know why my stamina isn't dropping. Have I got a skill? Is there a skill that grants you more stamina with every kill or something like that? Because that must be what's going on. Uh oh. I can hear my first demolisher. Wave 2 has commenced. Definitely need to be headshotting this fucker. And it sounds like the turrets are out of ammo just in time for the demolishers, which I guess is a good thing. feels so much more peaceful, doesn't it, with uh, those turrets not going off. Right, this is where we can start getting in trouble. So we have demolishers, we have cops. Oh, we've got fat bastard inside. He somehow squeezed through. <laughs> Actually, recog. Oh no. I 
I think a cop just set off a bloody demolisher. Ooh. Two more mags of 7.62 left. Got a minute left on the recog. I have to remember, oh my god, what are they doing squeezing through here? Why is it the biggest dudes actually getting through the gap? Okay, swap ammo. Cops, another recog. Another oh shit. Cop just exploded at the fighting position. Oh come on, die! <laughs> oh man, I need to fix this up. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Fix, fix, fix. Why have I not got a bloody nail gun at this stage of the game? morning chimes. Let's see how long it takes to tidy this lot up. <laughs> if we're done before six it'll be a miracle. All right I think we might have a slight problem if, uh, if one more block over there goes down because that's going to cut off the zombies route to us. I think they've destroyed the ladder on this side of the platform over there. Oh, come on, mate. I might just get this gun out for a sec. Oh, whew, that was lucky. I think I've got a silencer on here, so that maybe will help. Avoid the screamage. See you there on the ladder, you little bastards. Okay, <laughs> let's go assess the situation. That appears to be board night over and done with. Oh, I've got a legless one. There we go. Look at the state of the floor. This was pure concrete. I don't know how many demolishers must have gone off. I heard one for sure. Well, yeah, I see what's going on here. All right, well, there's a lot of damage. Let me just quickly dump some stuff in my little box up here and then I can go and grab all the loot out of the bags. I have installed the mod that uh, makes the loot bags hang around a little bit longer. And I will pop the eye candy. And yeah, I didn't have to resort to the shotgun at all, which was awesome news. That was one thing I did have a lot of ammo for, but I didn't want to use it because, I mean, the base would have been absolutely mangled. Okay, anyway, let's tuck in. Oh, and look, there's a nail gun that I was asking for. All right, well, that looks like that's all the loot bags collected. Let's have a quick look at what we've got. Nail gun, as we saw with the very first one. Oh, look, our cameraman is now playing Subnautica. Uh, got a bunch of books, another tier six shovel, an axe. But yeah, just, I mean, nothing, nothing too fantastic, really. Let's just read these books, get them down. 
go and collect the rest of our shit from up here in the box. And then we're going to need to figure out who stole all our shit. So I think next episode we're going to go have to hunt this Steve the Bull down. Now I do remember him saying he was heading to Red Mesa and he was going to go and try and find one of those. So um, yeah, that's the first place I'm going to go look. But that's going to be in the next episode. So for now, we'll sign this one off. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you soon.